If your audio is dirty, you need to clean it up. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director goodness from Power Director University. I've seen a few people online complaining about their audio quality after they produce a file using PowerDirector, so I'm going to help you get that cleaned up. But before I do that, let's go ahead and give a quick shout out to Jim Estep. Jim makes videos on his YouTube channel for gaming and travel, and he makes those videos using PowerDirector, and he's a subscriber to this channel. Do me a favor, head on over to Jim's channel, check it out, watch a few of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, subscribe to his channel. All right, and if you want to go ahead and get a shout out for your YouTube channel, go ahead and go to the video description and fill out the shout out request form. Now that we're done with the shout out, let's get down to business. If you've been having audio issues with your produced H.264 MP4 files, I'm going to show you how to clean up that audio using a hotfix that was provided by Cyberlink. So I'm going to give you some information about why the issue is happening. Then I'm going to show you where to download the file and how to go ahead and put it into the program to take care of that audio issue. So, let's go ahead and get things started. All right, Power Director peeps. Right now I have a program open called Media Info. Now, Media Info gives you a lot of in-depth information on your files, so whether it's a video file, audio file, uh, image, whatever. Um, I will have a link to this program in the video description if you'd like to pick it up so that you can get more information about your assets and files. So the reason why I have this open is because I've pulled in a video clip to give you some information on that clip. Now the clip I have in here right now is the MPEG-4 file. You can see here under format. Now under video, it's a AVC, AVC HD to be precise, advanced video codec. And then if you go down to audio, it has a format AAC, advanced audio codec. Now advanced audio coding or advanced audio codec is the audio standard for MPEG-2 and MPEG-4 videos. So anytime you have a MPEG-4 or MPEG-2 video, the audio should be AAC. So AAC is compressed audio. Now what it does is it makes the file smaller, but it also creates lower quality because the file is compressed and, and because the file bit rate is a little bit lower than things like a PCM file or what many people refer to as a WAV file. So these are the files that are causing issues when they are produced using PowerDirector. So what Cyberlink did was they created a hotfix to address this audio issue so that when you produce a AVC HD or H.264 MPEG-4 file, the audio is cleaner, it's better, it's clearer. Before we get started with doing that, we have to do a few things to get our computer ready so that we can see the file location. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the task area, and in the search box, I'm gonna just type folder. And now the first option that shows up for me is show hidden files and folders. You want to click on that. Once you've done that, you want to make sure that you're in the advanced settings area. And then under files and folders, you'll see hidden files and folders. You want to make sure that the radio button for show hidden files, folders, and drives is selected. Once you select that option, you click on OK. Now what you want to do is go to the video description in this video and click on the link to get to the forum thread for AAC audio quality improvement. And that is this thread in the Cyberlink community forum. 
While we're here, I just want to say the Cyberlink Community Forum is the number one place to go get help with the program. So if you haven't been using it, if you're not registered with the site, you got to be out of your freaking mind. Go there, register, and use the forum. It is a great place for Power Director users to get information. Based on the specs of your system, you need to download the hotfix for the 32 or 64 bit OS. I have a 64 bit operating system, so I'm going to click on 64 bit OS. You see, it has downloaded the file here. Now that it's downloaded, I'm just going to click on show in folder so you can see where it's at. Should be under your download folders and it's a zip file here so you need to extract the zip file to get the file here so now we have this file from the zip file it's a ax file type so i'm going to right click on it and i want to select copy now you need to go to the place in power director 15 where this file needs to go to fix the issue so I'm going to click on my C drive. I'm going to go to program files and I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to go to Cyberlink and double click that. Power Director 15. Double click that. Runtime, double click that, and encoder pack, double click that. Now there's already a file in here that is called CL Aud Encode. It's, I guess it's CL Cyberlink Audio Encoder, right? Is what it stands for. It's an AX file. So we can't have two of the same files in here because the file we're about to paste in here has the same name. So we're going to rename this one by right clicking on it. Going to rename. And then I'm just going to add the word backup after ENC and before dot AX. Now I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to right click anywhere in here and I'm going to select paste and it will paste in the CL audio encoder AX file from the zip file. So I'm going to do paste. And it says I need to provide permission to copy to this folder. I'm going to hit continue. And it went ahead and added the file. So now I'm done. I'm gonna close this out. And now if I go to Power Director 15, I can produce any uh, H.264 MP4 videos or video or any type of video container that uses AAC files and the audio quality will be better. All right, Power Director peeps. I wanna thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you'd like to get a shout out like Jim and Steph did, go to the video description and click on the link to the shout out request form. If you would like to make a tutorial request, go to the video description and click on the link to the tutorial request form. Now, you know what you got to do for me. Click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Tells people that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button and click on the bell. When you do that, you'll receive notifications from YouTube every time I upload content. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.